Hi, it's Ken from Get English Tips here. Welcome along to Get English Tips number 13. Thanks very much for subscribing and I really hope that you're enjoying this Get English Tips series. And if you haven't already done so, then please feel free to create your free account with Get English Tips and you'll get this delivered to your email box. So, Get English Tips number 13, what are we going to look at today? Well, it's something that I feel makes you very, very individual and very memorable for people who are speaking to you. And this Get English Tips is all about accents. You know, since I started my Instagram account, I have, I, I was very unaware of this until I did start it, but so many people want to have the perfect accent. Now, as you know, an accent is just the way that you speak, just how you sound to other people. And a lot of English learners want to make their accent perfect, which is really, really difficult to do. The most important thing I feel is actually making yourself understood by others. And once you're comfortable doing that, making yourself understood, then you can begin to focus on you know, changing the way that you sound and changing your, finding an accent, I guess, that you are comfortable with. You know, native speakers, you know, really enjoy listening to other, you know, English learners with different accents. I really enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I, th I feel that if you want to sound a typical British accent, whatever that is, then you know you can it actually it can make you sound incomprehensible <laughs> would be the word that i would choose there you know it can make you sound difficult to understand if you try too early to have an accent the reason that i say that is you know in the uk for example where i'm from there are so many accents there are hundreds of different accents and the typical british accent that you probably, you know, hear, the uh, RP accent, you know, is only spoken by maybe 1% or 2% of, of uh, British, British English speakers. You know, where I'm from or wherever you are in the UK, if you travel, you know, 70 kilometres to another town, the accent changes. You know, even where I'm from in Scotland, if I travel to the next city, which is about 70 kilometers from here, it's a very, very different accent. So when you're talking about, I want to sound like a native speaker, you have to pick the city that you want to sound like. If it's from England, do you want to sound like someone from Cornwall or someone from you know, Brighton or someone from London, you know, East London or South London? accent within the city also changes you know or Birmingham is another one or Bristol these accents can be very very heavy Manchester Liverpool Newcastle all these accents have their own uniqueness about them so when you say I want to speak with a British accent where <laughs> because the accent will change wherever you go within the UK but it is fun to try with different accents you know <laughs> You know, American accents, the general American accent, they'll make their vowels very long compared to the British, a typical British accent. Instead of saying dog in Britain and, you know, from the UK, they might say dog. So they make the accent long. I know I'm exaggerating that accent there. I think, I think that American accents are quite uh, popular basically because there's a lot of series and movies that... English learners in Asia or the Middle East, etc., and in South America, there's a lot of uh, you know American influence with their culture, with music and movies and series, etc. So they try and get and get the the the, Brit the American accent because it's most popular. You know, a good a good thing to do is uh, certainly if you're looking for a typical British way of speaking is find a city that you that you like that you like the sound of and uh, try and copy not their accents but the words they actually use you know dialects the words that they use you know uh, will be different 
and this is a dialect. You know, for example, in Scotland, we say I a lot of times instead of yes. You know, uh, in Manchester, they might say, all right, is to say, how are you? So find what you want to sound like and then copy it. Really study people from that area and, uh, and copy how they speak. So it's not so much about accents, it's more about using the, the vocabulary from that particular area of the UK. Perhaps listen to local radio. You know, there's uh, it's really easy now to, to go on the internet, find an app and listen to local radio from that area. And you'll find that, you know, if you listen to it, you'll find that you'll start picking up the vocabulary that is used in that particular area. It's a really good trick to use. So yes, yeah, so Get English Tips number 13 is uh, don't be ashamed of your accent. Don't be ashamed of it. Your accent's really important. It helps make you an individual and it helps people remember you. If you really want to learn an accent, then find a radio station from that specific area of the UK or America or Australia and listen and pick up the little bits of vocabulary that they are using. And that way you can probably begin to sound much more native than if you try to go for a, a generic British accent, which doesn't really exist. So I hope you understood that. And uh, I'd love to hear your stories about trying to, uh, to copy or emulate um, an accent. It'd be really interesting to know. So if we'll look forward to Get English Tips number 14, which will be available very, very soon. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you've got any comments about this uh, Get English Tips series, leave them below. And um, I'll love to read all your feedback from it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next Get English Tips video. So my name's Ken. Bye for now.